Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm not very educated on color for like sublimation, but the young lady I'm trying to help says this looks turquoise to, you, to her, and then it prints navy blue, if I'm understanding everything so correct. So I've opened up a CMY color palette. I normally use RGB because I'm a laser engraver. I'm gonna make a duplicate of that guy and put it down here. And then I'm gonna to go to object and group and ungroup. And then I've got my nudge factor set on 1.5. I am going to separate, there's basically three colors. So we've got a dark blue, I'm gonna just nudge it over. I'm gonna nudge over all the dark blue that I can see. And I'll show you here in just a second what I'm thinking. Cause she needs to, save it and print it as a CMYK if I understand uh, colors for sublimation. So I think I've got them all. And then there's just a few of a lighter blue. So I'm gonna nudge them over. And, you know, this is where you're gonna discretion is gonna be uh, one thing about it, if you nudge something over and it doesn't match that blue, you can always nudge it back. I see we got another little dark, so I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna take that and nudge it over, maybe that one. I don't know, this is almost a gray. So we're gonna make it a dark blue. Now everything else should be the, well, there's another light blue. So I'm gonna call that good enough, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to combine this, and then I'm gonna combine this Combining kind of joins it all together. Whoop, didn't work in that case. Let's see if I can't combine this. Yep, it's something to do with the circle, I'm thinking. So let's nudge that circle out of the way and let's combine this. There we go. And then we'll just make that a color. Now we need to make with our RGB uh, or CMY color palette, there is a turquoise. So I'm gonna make a square and I'm gonna fill it with turquoise. Then since there's really three shades, I'm gonna hit the plus key and I'm gonna put one over here. And with my, still my CMY, I'm gonna hold down my control button and make that just a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna make a duplicate of that and I'm gonna go up to a white and I'm gonna hold down my control button while I'm clicking it, make it a little lighter. So now what I can do, this is the lightest one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my color eyedropper and sample that color and fill it in there and then it filled in all those. Then I'm gonna hit the pick tool and go back to the color. This is our darker one, so I'm gonna take a sample there and fill all that in with a little bit darker. Now this is kind of like the middle one. Give my pick tool again so it changes colors. Take a sample of that, fill that in. Now we can nudge this over, nudge this over. And I could have made them different colors and we're just gonna make this one uh, that turquoise. So we're gonna grab our color eyedropper tool, pick that one and see if we can't get it to that's actually, well, it is a fill. See, it's hitting the outline. It's so thin, we might be able to, not be able to do it. So what I can do is just click on it and pick that turquoise. Whoop, I hit the fill, so it must be a line. So I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna nudge that over. I'm hoping this is what she's wanting. I would double check with my, uh, let's put a yellow, go to object, order, back of page. Just make sure the, the white is not really there for the tree. Now, if you will, you know, you need to, when you do this, I would take away and I would go to my windows or go to you know, windows and color palettes and palettes and I would take away my RGB and then save it. 
I'm not 100% sure on colors. I don't do any sublimation. But I think if you save it and open it as a CMYK, those should print like that. I'm actually going to test this on a piece of uh, just regular printer paper. And if it works out, I'll, maybe I'll make a part two. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.